for the second lecture of GPS. So far we have studied what are the different segments or components of GPS. So just take a quick review of this space segment. Most of this is related with the satellite and the orbital path of the satellites. Control mostly consisting of the ground station points which will be having the uh, the antennas which continuously receiving the signal from the satellites and after this correcting sending back it to the signals to the satellites and the third one is the user uh, the, then so have seen that what are the different ground control segments under which there are different the positional location of the different the ground control points here all around the globe so which may be having antennas which may not be having the antennas you can see here here the this the triangle with the green color shows you the combination along with the air force monitor station so there's somewhere here somewhere here just to have information regarding just to have information on how the gps just it has evolved previously when it is started with 1978 very first satellite that was launched uh, in that case the soldier used to carry this uh, very uh, heavy the receiver which will have the antenna like this then 1989 it is just reduced to its size then again it becomes the compact one in 1998 then 2005 have one more revolution and now after this 2003 so onwards we can see uh, to just indicate how the tiny dot the size of this about 2 mm is just a chip uh, which is installed in the smartphones now moving ahead uh, here there are many sources of the errors that we are going to see in this uh, next slide few of the slides so uh, there is the one satellite based augmentation based one of the system we call as the waas that is wide area augmentation system under which there are two systems one is called a space based augmentation system and another is the ground based uh, augmented system basically these systems are working with the satellites exist existing number of the satellites uh, along with there are a few of the satellites geostationary satellites with the help of this the 24 number of the satellites they are uh, operating together so basically here to the objective of this SBAS and GBAS is to increase the certainty of the any of point on the surface of the earth so you can see the vast is mostly active or the functional in uh, America country whereas you can see different countries you are different the systems is the Gagan here for India we have seen in the last so basically uh, what the space-based uh, augmentation system does it uh, the signals which are received by the the towers now the two towers they will receive the signal from the satellite and after that these two signals they will be compared then it goes to the the processing unit it's just like a monitoring station after doing this sent again back to the the antenna and antenna after this sends back to the the satellite system and after this satellite system the uh, and the satellites will send the signal or the position here to the receiver so receiver just see the where is the position of the uh, object or the person then after having known there is a one more system called as the GBAS. GBAS is ground based area augmentation system or we can say that LAS in other name for this is the local area augmentation system. So GBAS or LAS one and the same thing 
here the only thing is that uh, where you can see basic comparison between the SBAS and GBAS is the SBAS that works worldwide where the GBAS works local wise here you can see the satellite sends the signals again the two towers they will receive the signals after this the signal they are compared sent back to the same here the processing unit after processing it gives the corrections sent back to the uh, elevated tower you can see the same diagram here the satellite signal received by some the tower in some of the cases instead of the elevated tower this is the ground station here itself that will uh, correct the signal itself and transmit so here basically the purpose is here to navigate the aircrafts the same can be used for the ships for the water transportation so in the another picture you can see here the gps is very much useful in the navigation not only the vehicle which are running on the roads but which are moving uh, in the air in the form of the aircraft or ships in what in case of the uh, water transportation we will learn few more about the space segment S space segment already we have seen there are 24 active uh, satellites which are 55 degrees inclined to the equator the question is that why is the 55 degrees inclination basically if you see usually we show the earth as a spherical but it's not truly spherical if you see this is the the north pole here is the south pole and here is the equator for the earth but basically the earth is not perfectly sphere it's just like a ellipsoid it will be like this. that means it is it is more compressed from both the uh, north and south pole and it has more axis along this but less axis along this so therefore uh, we will have some common reference point so that common reference point if you say it may not be perfect to show here so likewise in, instead of ellipsoid we show it as a the spherical one so the system which are used globally is wgs84 you should remember this even though it is not yeah, that much important for us but uh, it is required to know what is the meaning of WGS 84 so WGS 84 is worldwide the reference system you know what we have seen in surveying the what is the datum that is the mean sea level but the mean sea level is not same for all the countries American has its own datum surface that is mean sea level Indian country has different the mean sea level so therefore these mean sea level they are different for all the countries so therefore one common mean sea level or the datum is considered and that refers to as your the WGS 84 system so this your space segment works on the what is the datum is WGS 84 so with respect to this datum the satellites they are positioned above the earth at the height of the 20,200 kilometers that we also have seen Another side little days we have seen that the GPS system having the satellites uh, they have two rotations or two rather I'll say two revolutions around the earth in 24 hours to be very precise uh, if suppose half of day is actually uh, the 11 hours 58 minutes so there is no exactly 12 hours but it's a less than less or uh, short of two minutes then average eight satellites always in view uh, so that we were discussing about just uh, why 55 degree incline so in order to have you can say the geometry to compensate this this angle is with, with respect to that as a 55 degrees okay so you got this the what is the importance of this 55 degrees now hence onwards today we will see what is the signals that with which the the message is being sent to the satellite so basically the main purpose of this is to give the navigation and the navigation will work 
or the rather i'll say the user will receive the signal with the frequency of uh, 1575.42 megahertz or 1.575 you can say rather a gigahertz so the frequency are two frequency of the l range is l1 and l2 these two frequencies uh, with the two different frequencies now why these two different frequencies because there will always be uh, the error which are induced uh, when the signal is being sent by the satellite so we are going to see in next few of the slides what are the different sources of the error so uh, these are nothing but the the carriers basically these frequency they will carry some message and this message will be in the form of the code okay so we are also going to see the the what, are the, what is the code so in order to get the location of any object on the surface of the earth you know that there are must be at least four number of the satellites they will be they must be in the range at least four preferably eight seven to eight number of the satellites so therefore uh, all the satellites will have different positions so satellites will always the provide the the coordinates uh, that coordinates are the earth coordinate that is latitude longitude and the altitude so this satellite will be having the uh, positions giving the positions x1 y1 z1 second satellite giving this position because even though these satellites they are uh, rotating around revolving the uh, earth with the equal altitude but the position on the earth of the any object they are different they are not fixed therefore we are getting the different coordinates for the same object uh, with reference to different satellites now here we will see what are the different uh, the signals so this is the, the frequency with which the the satellites uh, um, send the message so what is the frequency this is l1 so just to compare here this is the frequency l1 and here is the frequency l2 so this frequency this is the more frequency this is the lesser frequency so you can see the comparison how the sinusoidal will they will be uh, looking like this so on this ca that is ca code is the course acquisition code actually these are words really more related to the electronic branch i hope you understood all these things so this code will be looking this like this so this code is called a random code there these are not fixed so you may see that code has always the uh, the pattern of binary number that is one zero zero one so if you can see this is the amplitude of one this is the zero again zero so the interval here is not constant so therefore they are called as the random code pattern secondly these satellites all the different satellites 24 or let it be uh, 32 maximum satellites there will be orbiting around the earth so all the satellites will have their own ca code noted down that the satellites all the satellites will not have the same code okay so this is not the question or uh, the time to discuss here why this is, but just remember ca code for the all the select will have the different uh, codes now there are ca code which will have the frequency of 1.023 megahertz and this there there are a few more uh, or different code we call it the p code so p code uh, is it, it is more precise code p stands for the precise code and it will have almost 10 times that of the ca code uh, this the more uh, we can say precise code the more accurate position we can locate of uh, in, of any object so uh, this p code actually is very confidential and not used for the civilian purpose unless until it is uh, permitted by the the officials mostly these are being handled by the us government and these frequencies they are modulated because these are the code actually and each code has its own message 
so therefore uh, over this the message which is to be modulated we call as as a nav message and it will be uh, having the frequency of 50 hertz because if you want to understand the clear message it should have the lesser frequency that is the meaning of this this we will see the positional uncertainty basically uh, it is not always possible to give the true positions because there are so many factors which will affect the true positions of the uh, object on the surface of the very uh, common reason is that if you see the satellite is moving about 3000 meters per second in the space and the even uh, the satellite for, fails to uh, in a, uh, give the correct positions of the any object even a nanosecond will differ to few hundred to three hundred meters uh, dislocation of any object so uh, sorry disposition of the any object so there are basically the positional uncertain mean, uh, meaning is that it is the measure of error in the estimation of positions so even though satellite is uh, rotating ab around the earth with uh, along its uh, predetermined orbital path but there are some errors which are bound to occur due to which we can say the satellite just estimate the position it doesn't actually correctly de decide the position of there so what are the different errors is the error in the range measurement and the second is the error in the satellite position basically what the uh, the signal gives the position of the satellite and uh, position of the satellite and time of the satellite so you can see here uh, the user user range error here so it is it is supposed to be somewhere true positions here but it may have error around which we can say this much is the error in count so probably in here in between the the person will be standing here but this error is is to be determined so this is due to cause due to the error uh, now this is called the error so this one is we can say the positions of the hair but due to some reason this is the the uh, position along which it will give you and this will cause uh, due to range of uncertainty we are going to see this more uh, in the dilution of precision so why this range uncertainty that we are going to see sources of error satellite time first is the satellite time uh, see what is the happening the satellite ha is installed with the uh, four atomic clock and as you said that already we seen that the, the satellite uh, is moving with a velocity of 3000 meters per second so it should be uh, giving very precise time uh, at which the time has at which time this uh, satellite has sent the signal so this satellite time at what position at what uh, time it is sending the signal it appropriately located then the positions of the object can correctly estimate it second satellite position there are ground stations which are continuously feeding the data at what time the satellite is positioned so this data is available we call it the ephemeris data then propagation speed there are the different uh, if the satellite is sending some of some signal so therefore uh, due to the different uh, ionosphere and troposphere al along with the atmospheric uh, you can say uh, around the earth so that will deviate the signal instead of going straight it may get deviate so that propagation speed in order to um, avoid the error we not only send we are uh, not uh, can say plan to send only one signal but it uh, sends the two types of the signals the comparison of the two signals 
this can be possible to uh, correct the true positions of the object then second is one more is the multi path multi path is uh, nothing but the uh, there are some objects surrounding the uh, the uh, the person or the receiver rather i'll say so such as the building or the trees or any hurdles so that what it causes that when the signal is uh, about to receive the to the receiver some different way the receiver may get, receive the signal just like uh, this signal may uh, bounce off to the surrounding buildings and the one way is directly getting the signal straight way to the receiver that we are also going to see in the next slide then one more is the dilation of precision here you can say signal when in sent by the satellite then when it goes to the ionosphere so here this satellite slows slightly and when it comes to the atmosphere then it goes with the normal speed so do you see the difference between the speed of the same signal which when passing through the here ionosphere and the same signal when it enters to the gravity of the earth so signal will have the normal speed so therefore even if you say uh, the satellite is moving once for one second you can say it's a 30,000 300,000 kilometers so therefore uh, for the one second here also with that will cause nanosecond sorry i am very sorry for nanosecond it may cause the uh, the error of 300 meter plus or minus so in order to avoid this you can say there are different frequency are sent along with the original frequency so that will uh, try to reduce now one more uh, just i was talking you here the satellite here and the one of one of the way the receiver will get the straight way and another possibility is that the receiver will make a, get the signal by bouncing of this the wall of the, this building so the error could be called as a small error or larger error as long as the 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 satellite is just above the let us say there is a ship here above the uh, exactly head of this so therefore this will cause very small error but whereas if it is along the equator so this same satellite is along the equator it will have the larger error so try therefore it is always uh, have this the satellites we can say which help you the dilution of position that means if the satellites had been somewhere here so one satellite here and satellite here so the combination of these two and combination of this and this so what is the angle in between here 90 degree so therefore it is always avoided to have such kind of the combination so here we are we'll see the geometric dilution of precision we are also going to see more also about the the dilution of precision basically we want very precise position because there is a time interval between that when the at the time when this this signal is sent by the satellite and the time when this receiver get the signals so there is always time difference so the uh, the arrangement is such that the time is uh, of the satellite and time of the receiver they are synchronized that means if the satellite counts for example one pulse so at the same time the uh, gps which have the clock mostly this is the crystal clock or quartz so it will be counting as a one if the signal uh, in the satellite cost two time two unit time then the same uh, we can say so at the clock in on the earth that will be counting at the same time two if this discrepancy occurs in between the the uh, time signal between satellite and the the, re the receiver clock so that will cause the error and this wh what are the different causes of the error that we have seen just now in the previous slide <coughs> so there you can see here two satellites one is here and another is uh, here so what is the uh, position in between the here and what is the position 
between the hair. So you might think that why this uh, happens like this because if the two satellites they are keeping the same distance between this but basically one this satellite and this satellite they are not moving in the same orbital path they are moving at the different part but you can say uh, somehow uh, they will come to close to a for a particular time of instant so this time if such particular time this uh, satellite is come close to this one so what kind of the the error which is caused by this uh, is like this so you can say this is the here now what basically what is this one is called as the this here you can see the measurement error okay so so far we have many times uh, learning that there are different source causes of the uh, error so um, position either plus or minus you can say plus or minus so if the, this is true position supposed to be but it may cause give the here true position here or it may be true position here but it may giving the false position here therefore accordingly we call it as a plus or minus sign so this error cause here for the one satellite again another satellite also giving at the same time same error it doesn't mean that if the error cause is amount here error is one amount and here is the another amount no this is not like this so therefore all the satellites surrounding here you will be giving the same error so this error here and this error here so both error they that means due to this error it will form this kind of the region and this is called as the the uh, dilution of precision so here it will can just imagine the area here and area here so here this area is more area so that means it is the mean of this will be somewhere here and mean of this is to be calculated somewhere here so more error are involved in this case and less error are involved in this case right so this kind of precision we call it the precision uh, to understand it more clearly the satellites which are here close together we call it the cluster so at least four satellites are required to get the positions of the object on the earth so what we can say that which will have high dop that is dilution is more dilution is high means lesser accuracy it will give whereas they are widely spaced that means the low dp dop low dop that means strong geometry and strong strong geometry that means it will give uh, more accuracy therefore it is always said that um, if you are uh, on the ground um, and you are the the user your receiver if it's supposed to get the signals from the at least four satellites so there should be no any other um, different obstacles surrounding you the sky should be very much open so in that case uh, this kind of this strong geometry is possible to achieve to just have a look on this so dop value if it is said that less than one it is one by one between one one and two two and five five and ten so likewise so high okay uh, you can say here from this high dop that is here that means you are this is the poor accuracy rating is poor means the poor accuracy you are getting whereas if your dop is less than one that means this kind of the arrangement we are uh, achieving here so what we can see this is the ideal one 